So this is where they've been sending these. to be something. They used to fear you. Shivering bodies were fit. some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll we'll persuade him. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Come <laughs> on. 
Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swinehart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss. At least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Bullshit! I already talked to Georgie. I know you ordered their deaths. Mr. Porgy is mistaken, I assure you. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. You're smart, I'll admit that. So what I just don't understand is why you're here. I mean, you want to catch your killer, right? Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So. Shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. Oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could make this work. What are you gonna do now? Rip me apart like some kind of animal? Killing me here would achieve nothing. And what would Miss White think? You show up with nothing but a corpse. No answers, no proof. You'll never know the truth, and she'll barely stand to look at you. Is it worth it? You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. <laughs> <laughs> 